Hey everybody, Thaisha here with Legacy of Light in conjunction with One Love Wellness Center here in Menasha, Wisconsin, coming to you for one of my 365 days from my heart to yours. And today, um, I'm just going to share a card from the Rainbow Warrior Activation Deck, and I did um, a Celtic reading, a Celtic Cross reading for myself this morning, and... Um, Wanted to share that card, and I grabbed the wrong card, so hang on. <laughs> oh, I'm back. <laughs> so, it is called Release. And with this um, style, with this deck, uh, the Celtic Cross... The release is um, the card in the middle, and it is it is who you are, or the energies that you're working with. So, it also means completion, neutrality, shift, alter, boundary, void, receive. If you're going to do something at all, you might as well do it right the first time. Definitely a philosophy we've all heard once or twice. There's nothing truer than when making efforts to let go of something you no longer need or want in your life. The idea of release is less about getting rid of something and more of changing your relationship to it. It's true, we release physical things, but unless we change our relationship to them, we draw them back in another form. Letting go, then, is akin to refocusing your energies in another direction. To be able to do that, you'll need the information and understanding required to complete the process of release. So this is comprehending why you had something in the first place. Honoring its memory. Grieving its loss. And finally, adjusting your attention to something that is better to serve your current needs. And I would add in also just loving that situation for exactly what it was. And I feel like, you know, a lot of times maybe we've, we've missed these cues and things do come back into our lives. So that we can have that other viewpoint. And I know this morning I, I did my cards because, you know, um, I was having car issues and I've had them like quite often on and off, whatever. And so I wanted to really have a different perspective and to see it differently because it was frustrating me and I knew that, you know, that wasn't what this situation was for. It wasn't to, you know, go off on, on my tangents of, like, why the universe is doing this to me, why it's still doing it to me. I don't understand, and I wanted to have that other perspective. So, you know, I did a, a reading or whatever for myself this morning, and this was what it told me that I am in this current situation. And so then I went in and, you know, did other writings as to, like, what this situation was actually trying to teach me and the different things that were that were no longer serving me that I that I wanted to release and that I was just maybe unaware of in this situation it's it's generally not the situation at hand that's the actual issue like this you know there's more to it than the car problems the car problems were bringing up the other issues that actually were you know wanting to be released that you know, I had to look into it and say, okay, you know, now I see this. I am willing to release the need for, you know, the, the car troubles and all 
the emotions that it brings because it, it brings other emotions from other things that aren't serving me anymore. And so a lot of times we just need to, to look deeper into to our hearts and not the actual situation because generally that's not even, you know, what it ends up being. And so it was asking me to, to have that different perspective and to know that at, at any moment I get to change that perspective and perception of the situation. You know, it was in, instead of being like, woe is me, I have to pay more money to get this car fixed. And I have the money. It's not like I don't have the money. And in the past, I hadn't had the money. And I, you know, wouldn't have had the money. But I actually do now. And I can go ahead and just get it done. And it's just, you know, a simple thing. We had a crazy, you know, ice snowstorm. And what happens is I was at my sister's helping her out doing some cleaning and when I backed out of the driveway I you know it had just some low built up ice and it like <laughs> slashed open you know um it slashed the belt and and some other stuff for my power steering so I lost my power steering which is it's a pretty integral part of the sit the the system and it's way nicer to drive a car that has power steering let me tell you I used some muscles today <laughs> probably haven't used in a long time but um and we took it to um a friend of a friend's father who has done some other work and you know he gives me cash price and he's gonna make you know make sure that it's running and that I don't need to buy a new pump because a new pump is like $380 so he's gonna make sure that's running and everything else is together and it's you know it's gonna be half the price and you know I can just be thankful that a I have the money and and be that I, I I took the time to go in and and figure out what the actual issue was that was coming up to be let go and that I can now be like, yeah, I am willing to release that need. And, and we have these, we have these needs and these things that come up because they think they are, it's, it's protecting us. But at some point when you're on this journey to I don't, I don't know, the journey to your heart, the journey to, to become who you really are you start learning these things that that is that that aren't really helping you anymore and and they just were coming to you in the past and they they have like it seems like this repeating pattern but if we don't look into the situation and you know find the gold within the darkness of this in, in any situation, then it's just gonna keep repeating. You know, it may go away for a while, but then it's gonna come back and we've set this up so that we can learn, that we can go, oh, yeah, I guess I, I don't need that anymore. Yeah, I'm willing to let that go. I'm willing to release, you know, my attachments to the emotions that come through this because when you start observing, you know, like from an outsider, you observe your life, your situations, you start to notice like that you, that there's part of you that has these needs, you know, like have this, this need to be let down. And it seems crazy and it seems weird. You're like, why, why would that be a need? 
Well, it's set so to to protect you somehow because of something that happened previously. So now you're just like, okay, this is a need because then if this person lets me down, then I don't have to, then I don't have to be vulnerable and I can just, you know, I can avoid this situation. I can, I can leave this situation because, you know, my need is to be let down. So, oh, they let me down. Good. I can get away. I'm protected. I don't have to be vulnerable. So do you see what I'm saying when I say you have these needs and it seems you know, when you say it out loud, sometimes it seems like, well, that's ridiculous. I don't have a need for that, but you actually do. Because the need is coming from uh, a protection standpoint. Like, I want to protect myself, so I have this need. So that when this thing happens, then I can be like, oh, good. Okay, I can move away from this situation because my need is fulfilled. Look, they let me down. Oh, look. The universe let me down. Oh, look, this situation let me down. Good, I can leave and start again until I realize that I'm willing to let go of that need. I don't need it anymore. So then you thank it. So then in here it says comprehending why you had something in the first place. So you've, I figured out why I had that in the first place because it was a protection from being hurt. So honoring its memory, like thank you, and grieving its loss. So it's actually grieving this situation, it's this, this need that I had being like, wow. Like I appreciate you. And now I, I, I grieve your loss so that what, you know, in, in some ways it's like grieving this loss so that what can actually, what you actually want can then come into being. So you, you grieve the loss, you grieve the memory, and, and, and I would add you love those all. You love that situation for what it was because if that, situation what it was that you wouldn't be where you are you wouldn't have the knowledge you wouldn't have this understanding it wouldn't be bringing you to another level so yes love that situation love the the need to be let down i love you i thank you because now i understand you and and accept it and then it says, finally, adjusting your attention to something that better serves your current needs. So there's, there's something better, you know, as I've said before, this or something better. Like the universe always wants to, to give you something better. And, you know, as I've said, they've conspired. And isn't that a better use of the word conspiring? is like the the universe conspiring to to give you something better they want to bless you like they it whatever your team you have a team we all have a team <laughs> so they the universe this or something better they always want the better for you And, you know, sometimes the things that we see as negative, you know, like this, you know, this, my car breaking down also showed me something better. We have the money and, and money is just an exchange of energy. And the mechanic doing my car is, you know, a, a genuine person and, and, you know, giving me a deal, you know, because, you know, he wants business, but he also wants, you know, repeat business and wants to, to, to help people, you know, instead of just gouging them for, you know, astronomical prices, 
because sometimes I think, you know, for that's oh, that's probably a whole nother year of shows. <laughs> just kidding. So, um, yeah, so just releasing. So it's a completion, like this, this cycle is completing. And, and the, the greater part of this is the whole day today. You know, I kept seeing the five, five, fives and some three, three, threes. And this morning when I went to go out to start my van before I knew the, the whole of the situation, I, I look up and there's just an eagle flying right over my freaking head. You know, like probably, you know, 10 feet above. It wasn't, it wasn't that far. And so there's my team conspiring to say, you know what, it's going to be okay. Just seek a little bit. You'll find the answers. I'm sure they, they, they at some point wish that they could just, you know, tell us, but we have free will. And that's also the beauty of free will, is that we get to choose. So they're conspiring to send me messages all day, just like, you know, there's change is coming, change is coming, it's going to be okay. And, you know, the, the masters are with you, my three, three, threes. <laughs> At one point I was like... What kind of change is this, you know? And it's okay to sometimes go through, you know, your emotions and, and state your emotions and, you know, just live through them. Just not in them. Don't stay in them and wallow in them. But you can live through them. You can tell, you know, I was, I was um, telling my partner that I was like, you know, because <laughs> this is supposed to be a nine year for me. I was like, this is a bullshit nine year and some other stuff, you know, and I'm like, I'm just venting. I'm like, I'm, I know that the universe already knows how I feel, but also that it's, it's okay to vent it, to have a moment to say, look, this is how I freaking feel at this moment. I'm frustrated. And then, and you know, and your next breath go on. Like, live through that emotion at that moment and then go on and just be like, okay, well, you know, I felt like that then and I'm going to have more emotions. Like, it's the ever-changing world. Like, we're, you know, it's, it's always changing. So I know that I can be in this emotion and just move on to the next one and be like, okay, it's cool. I felt it. I saw it for what it was. And then I released it because I'm letting it go on to, to bigger and, and brighter things that I, I want to hang on to. But also that, you know, I will also release at some point. So yeah. So release the things, letting go then, is akin to refocusing your energy in another direction. And so that's what I've been doing. I felt those emotions of irritation and frustration and, and I spoke them and I was done with them and then I moved on to, okay, well, what is, you know, and within all of this, I was looking for the real issue, the actual issue so that, you know, I could see it for what it was and also release that. So I think that is it for today. So I love you all and... Just know that you are eternally adored and, it, and loved for just being you. So, all right.